Now I don't have the engine in any special place right now. Um, first thing you want to do is, well, possibly check to see which position the engine's in. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to test this rocker. And this, ouch, this rocker is loose. And that one's loose. So it's just about a top dead center if these two are both loose. Um, given that those two are loose, I am going to go ahead and check those. So the two sizes you're going to need here is a 010 and a 026. Unfortunately, the feeler gauge that I purchased comes with a 022 and a 011 for whatever reason. Um, I don't believe that the 0 .001, so the 1 1 thousandth of an inch on the intake and the 4 1 thousandths of an inch on the exhaust are really going to affect that much. They're basically a 0 .01 and a 0 .02. Um, the way you're going to test it is, if you actually look, there's a bridge in there. Now the small one is the intake. So this one's got a little bit of motion to it. Should be able to squeeze that in there. Now what you'll see here, this is the first one. This one has no load on it. You'll be able to rock it quite freely. This one's actually so loose that I can nearly remove the bridge without any problem. And that is not how it should be. So these are definitely, definitely way overdue for an adjustment. So you're going to need two hands to do this. What you're going to need. So basically what you're looking for is you want this to be tight enough that you can just barely move this in here. And then you're going to want to hold the Allen key still and tighten this back down. And then you can remove your feeler. Now if I do the same thing that I did before and there's actually a difference, this bridge shouldn't move as far. Now what I'm going to show you is how you can do this without barring over the engine. 
Um, barring over the engine, the major pain, man, get up, check it, check it, check it. But there's a couple simple rules you can live by. Um, only one rocker will be engaged at a time. So when I look at the top of this engine, I see that the exhaust rocker right here is fully engaged. So that means that I could do this one without any problem, which I've already done it. Um, and the number six is what I'm going to attack next. I'm not even going to bother trying to make a video on that one because it's so far back and such a pain. Hopefully I won't drop the bit inside again. Um, <laughs> But you can see that the intake rocker is fully engaged and the exhaust rocker is not engaged at all. So that's the one I'm attacking next. There'll be a lot of cursing, so I'm not going to post that part.